Hey, how's it going guys? Matt and Jackson here with the Toasty Bros, and today we're going to be building a $1,000 gaming PC. Before we get into that, this video is brought to you by the Tesoro Gram, which is a RGB mechanical keyboard with low profile switches and has very fast actuation so you can get those kills in um, Fortnite, PUBG, whatever game you play. So, how about we get right into the build? Alright, so to start off this build, we have the AMD Ryzen 7 1700, which is an 8-core, 16-threaded CPU and is going to be awesome for this gaming PC. And also, if he wants to stretch into doing things like video editing or live streaming, the eight cores are gonna be perfect for that. And to cool the CPU, we are using the stock cooler that comes with this CPU. We'll be able to get some decent overclocks with this if you choose to overclock, and also it'll keep it nice and cool, and it looks pretty nice. As for the motherboard, we have the Asus Prime B350 Plus, which has a nice black and red color scheme to it, which is gonna match this Ryzen build really well. And it has the B350 chipset, which allows for overclock ability and room for upgrades to future Ryzen chips when they are released. And as for RAM, we have some Corsair Vengeance LPX memory, 16 gigabytes, two eight gigabyte sticks at 3000 megahertz. This is gonna be perfect for Ryzen because Ryzen loves fast speed memory and dual channel memory and 16 gigs is more than enough for gaming and honestly a little bit overkill for gaming, but it's always nice to have a little bit more in a higher end build. And we decided to throw in some really nice RGB fans that we picked up on Amazon. They're your generic RGB fan that a lot of these manufacturers are reselling and they were 30 bucks and they're gonna look really nice in the case that we chose. And for the graphics card, we have the EVGA. <laughs> and for the graphics card, we have the EVGA 1070 with eight gigs of VRAM. It's going to be more than enough to play all the new and old titles out there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and for the power supply, we have the CX550M. It's a modular power supply by Corsair and it's 80 plus bronze certified. And for the storage, we have a 256 gig silicon power SSD that's going to be lightning fast. Of course, I have Windows 10 on this. And then for the actual storage, we have a one terabyte Seagate drive. And for the case, we chose the AeroCool Cylon with its RGB front panel and the ability to add RGB fans, but Where's the case at?
Alright guys, so we have some classic PUBG right here and we are currently running complete ultra settings, just kind of pre-stock ultra and we're going to see what this thing can do. Alright, let's just hope this person here doesn't see us because it looks like they have a gun. So we're getting 60 FPS on the ground uh, pretty consistently so that's definitely quite enough to play this game especially on ultra settings but this might be one of those uh, short graphics tests. Ow. That was awful. This is the forest, which is much better optimized than it used to be. And it is actually a really good graphics test now. So you can see we're in complete high settings at 1440 and we're getting just under 100 FPS. Uh, no problem. It's not really having any stutters. We're actually getting over 100 now. Um, even when I do like spins and stuff, it still stays pretty consistent. So overall this thing is going to last a pretty long time before it really needs to be updated to like the 20 series or whatever's coming out after that so as you guys can tell this pc looks absolutely amazing with all the rgb effects and it also plays games really well so this pc was actually built for a viewer and if you want to inquire about us building you one then go check out the social medias down below and shoot us a pm and we will get back to you so we hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please smash that like button and comment down below if you really like this PC. If you're interested in any of the parts for this PC, they will be in the description down below. If you haven't already, be sure to subscribe and stay tuned for our next PC build. Uh, get some little ASMR action going on.